Hi, my name is Jordan Forrest and I'm making this video to share a dream or vision, if you will, that I had. Um, it was actually almost two years ago and I know this is long overdue and I should have shared it at the time, but I was being selfish and I was thinking about myself, but this isn't about me. This is about God and I just want God to use me and continue to use me. So I had this dream, it was only like a week or two weeks after I was saved and after I gave my life to God. And so I was still, I was still a new creature in Christ. And there was a lot at the time that I didn't understand in the dream, but I started understanding it now as I have grown in my faith and grown in my walk with God. So, um, like I said, I should have, I should have made this video as soon as it happened. I shouldn't have waited, but I'm doing it now. So I just pray that God just forgive me for waiting so long and that he just uses this video for his glory and uses it to, to spread the word and help somebody else. So, um, okay. So in my dream... I um I was in the car with my husband now but at the time he was my boyfriend and I was in the car with him and we were driving to an island St. Simon's Island and we were just on this long road and then I turn around because I see in the rear view mirror all of these people running after us and they were scared for their lives and they were covered in boils and you could see the pain all over them and the fear in their face and I could tell they were running for their lives and I didn't understand what was going on and then we get to the store and we go inside the store and it's like nothing's happening like the people inside don't know of anything going on outside so we get to the store and at the time like I said I was a new Christian so for me to go talk to somebody about God that was that was a big step for me but um in my dream I went up to these people the workers there that were working behind the counter and there was three of them and two of them wanted to listen to me and the other one didn't want to listen to me and so I just started talking to them about God which now I realized that that was God's way of telling me that I need to be a disciple and I need to start spreading the word. I need to go start talking to people about God and his glory. And so I was talking to them and it was a great conversation. And then we ended up leaving the store, not buying anything. So we get back outside and we get in the car and I look to the sky and I see these symbols. There were five symbols. And I'm not sure what all five were. I remember one was a crown, like you wear on your head. And I can't remember what the other symbols were. But after I saw those symbols, I knew that Jesus was coming. Like, I don't know why I knew it. Because at the time, I didn't know anything about the symbols in the sky and what to look for. But in my dream, it was clear to me that Jesus was coming and that this was the beginning of the end and I was praying and I was praying out loud I was praying for all of my family all of my loved ones praying that they knew God as their Lord and Savior and just praying to God to reveal himself to them while it wasn't too late and just to work in their lives and their hearts and so I just kept praying and I went to use my phone to call my mom. And for some reason, the the phones weren't working. Nothing was working. I couldn't text, I couldn't call, which was another reason why I knew it was the rapture. I'm not sure why, but in my dream, I was assured that that was something that was gonna happen when the rapture came, that we wouldn't be able to use our phones. So, um. Yeah, so I tried calling her and I couldn't, which I just, that just made me pray even more. And I was praying and praying and praying. And so we're on our way to Darien, which is um, a little city in a county called McIntosh County in Georgia. And we are heading to this four-way. 
and there are signs all over the road telling us to turn around and to not keep going because it was dangerous and we ignored the signs because we were trying to run away from the chaos which is in a way funny because you're not going to be able to run away from it you're not going to be able to run away from what's coming and so we kept going ignoring the signs we kept going and we went through a road that was flooded and then we get to a four-way and there's a few cars in front of us and I look around and the whole city is almost gone it's on fire and it's burning and there's smoke everywhere and but all of these cars were going this way and I didn't understand it because it was on fire and the car in front of us all of a sudden the it disappeared and I saw the devil and he was standing at the four-way and he was wearing a white robe and he was holding a pitchfork and I could never see his face but he started talking to me and his voice it was so soft it was so young it was very intelligent just like a, a young man and he started talking to me and he told me that when he hit his pitchfork on the ground that all of the destruction all of the the fire all of the death it was like shielded and so these people couldn't see it they couldn't see all of the bad stuff that was going on but I could see it and so these people thought they were going to a safe place but it wasn't and then we just kept driving and I saw the flash of the devil and his head it was it was outlined like almost like a horse or some kind of animal I couldn't see clearly it was just like a silhouette of his head and then, like I said his his body he was wearing a white robe with um holding his pitchfork and so right away as soon as we start driving we just we ended up standing in front of this tree like nothing else happened in between like it was just a flash like we were driving and then the next thing I know I blinked my eyes and me and my boyfriend at the time we were standing in front of this tree and it was just me and him and this tree it was a huge huge tree and you I mean you couldn't wrap your arms around it it was huge and we are looking at this tree and it's just in the middle of this field of this grass field on a little hill and right like down the road there was a little paved road and so we're just standing in front of this tree and we're on like this cement and anyways the devil he was there too and I couldn't see him but he was talking to us and he told me he said I've lied but that's okay and I've cheated and I've stole but that's okay I've done many bad things, but that's okay. And I just started busting out crying and praying to God because, you know, I've done those things and it's not okay. No matter what the devil tells you, it's not okay. And I was praying for God to forgive me and to, to just come into my heart and wash away my sins and just praying out loud, just God change me. And forgive me forgive my family be with my family God change us let us live for you God and I was pouring pouring tears and then the next thing I know my pavement I was standing on it started moving and it started going up towards the sky and I look back and my boyfriend he's still in front of the tree and he was talking to the tree and patting it like it was his buddy and I start moving and there's so many thoughts, so many thoughts going through my head and my heart was racing. It was pounding out of my chest and my adrenaline was pumping. And I just kept thinking, you know, what's heaven gonna look like? Is my mom gonna be there waiting for me? You know, what's what's gonna happen? And I was, I was nervous of the unknown. And so I looked to the sky 
and it was cloudy and then the sun starts peeking through the clouds and then the whole sky was bright so bright so blinding bright and then I woke up and I heard my fan in my room and that's how I knew I was awake and I opened my eyes and I turned on the lights and my heart was racing in real life and it was pounding and I was breathing heavy I could hear myself breathing and I was just blown away I woke up it was probably like 3 30 in the morning and like I said this was only like a week or two after I was saved and after I gave my life to God and I should have I should have made this video a long time ago I really I really should have but I just pray for God to to forgive me and to use this now and to continue to to use me and if something happens in your life or if you have a dream or you have a vision share it let God use you because you never know what he's using you for or what kind of effect that you can have in somebody else's life or if they needed that message or if they needed the assurance or for whatever it may be I'm not sure why but I know God has a plan and I know God is going to use it and he can use you too so just be faithful be bold in your faith unlike I was two years ago when I should have should have done this just be bold in your faith and don't worry about what this world is going to think of you or your friends are going to think of you because none of that is going to matter i promise jesus is coming and it'll be sooner than you think so just just give your life to him and let him use you and be obedient and be bold so thank you for watching